All right, well, good morning and welcome to the Ramsey County Law Enforcement Center. I'm Sheriff Matt Bostrom. And uh, my uh, participation this morning is being the host. And uh, this, this is a great opportunity. It's one of those things that you'd love to, I'd love to be able to stand up here and say, yes, the Sheriff's Office did all this. Nope, all we did was uh, get people in the right places and get out of their way and provide them the support they needed to, to execute what's going to be the story that's gonna be told here shortly. And the story that's being told is, is uh, we're just gonna be, get a glimpse of one of those aspects and that has to do with what we're doing with the solar panels on top of uh, the law enforcement center here. And uh, just the specific piece to this is what most people don't realize at any given time in the law enforcement center, there's probably 500 people here because it includes our detention center. Right now, there's, there's uh, uh, quite, a bit, quite a few more people than that here. But the solar panels uh, are actually providing almost 50% of the hot water now for our facilities. And you think about that, that's a small town. And uh, those solar panels that we're going to get, a, you know, you see some depictions of it here, but you'll actually be able to witness those a little bit later. Uh, pretty remarkable. And uh, that didn't happen by accident. It happened by intention and design. And some of the folks that were able to pull this off and put it together for us are here at my right. And at this point, I'm going to turn it over to our county commissioner, Victoria Reinhardt. Victoria. Okay, before we go any further, I know we don't have enough chairs, but really, somebody sit. <laughs> yes. And actually, before I begin my remarks, or maybe as part of my remarks, I do want to point out uh, the project funding on this. Uh, the project was funded by a grant to the City of St. Paul. We'll be hearing from the mayor, at, from the U.S. Department of Energy and Minnesota Department of Commerce uh, through the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act, ARA, as most of us know it, of 2009. Uh, St. Paul graciously shared these funds with Ramsey County so that we could install this solar thermal project on this building, and I think it is so important uh, to um, give that acknowledgement up front. The, um, what I would like to do is very briefly talk about what this project is. It's a 75 kilowatt equivalent solar thermal system on this law enforcement center. It consists of 35 Minnesota made panels manufactured in Alexandria by Solar Skies. Um, it is a job creator here in Minnesota, in Ramsey County. And one of the things that I just learned this morning that I think is very important is that these solar panels will have produce a carbon reduction of 15 to 17 metric tons per year. So. So I would like to thank uh, Sheriff Bostrom for hosting us here today and for all of the hard work that the property, property management folks did uh, to get this project done. Ramsey County has adopted an, an energy management and stewardship plan and this solar thermal system is just part of that. We have also done a number of energy efficiency improvements uh, throughout the building, and really what it shows is our, it's proof of our good stewardship of our natural resources. Everywhere you look in this complex, there are examples of the county's commitment to energy efficiency and renewable energy. Energy efficient lights, motion sensors and daylight sensors, low flow water nozzles in the kitchenettes, uh, restrooms, locker rooms, along with high efficiency motors and heat recovery wheels that are designed to reclaim 75% of the energy going through them. Software is used to provide real-time energy and water use monitoring and analysis so that problems can be detected right away and resolved. Here we have um, the new thermal installation will provide 40%, I think maybe it is 50%, of the hot water needs of this facility every year. Uh, District Energy and uh, St. Paul and the City of St. Paul have been incredible partners in this. Uh, the, and that's what today is about. The incredible partnerships with businesses as well. Delcon, NAC, I don't know if they just say NAC, um, Westwood uh, Professional Services and Solar Skies that bring the private and public sectors together to show that Ramsey County is trying to, uh, I guess, share the goal of us being green. 
um, without the dedicated collaborators like the U.S. Department of Energy, Minnesota Department of Commerce, the City of St. Paul, and Representative McCollum, who are fighting for our work on the federal level, we would not be here today. I also would like to note that from Senator Franken's office, we have Catherine Blauvelt, if you could raise your hand, and from Senator Klobuchar's office, Greg Borer, back there. Thank you very much for coming in for your support. And again, we are very indebted to the, Obama, uh, to the Obama administration for their support of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Um, those funds were instrumental in creating a cleaner, more sustainable Ramsey County. The, um, now, I guess I would like to move on to um, the, the main events, the speakers that are up here. And we will start with Congresswoman McCollum. She has been a champion for the environment and clean energy in Washington, D.C., and we're really proud that she is here representing St. Paul and Ramsey County. Um, with no further ado, Representative McCollum. Um, we're taking another step towards a cleaner energy future, but we're also taking another step towards reducing um, the energy costs that taxpayers, and all of us in this room are taxpayers, pay to, to maintain state-of-the-art buildings that are safe for our employees and uh, work for the people who walk in and out of them. So this is a win-win on so many levels. It saves taxpayers money. It reduces air pollution, which uh, improves the health of our children, and it improves the health quality of all of us for Minnesota. But it also increases our energy security. This building, I mean, we're in a building that, that's about protecting and serving. Are we not, Sheriff Bostrom? We are in a building because of the, the combined effort of the public sector, the private sector, coming together, working with nonprofits. We are making, we took a step towards making America less energy dependent, making, in, in other words, America more secure with the energy that we're using. And this, this, uh, this is a collaboration. Local units of government, nonprofits, the state, the federal government, all of us coming together to say we can do things better and smarter here in Ramsey County. So we're celebrating smarter government today too, I believe. And this is the kind of progress our citizens expect, but they don't hear about often. They hear about the gridlock and how things can't work and how people don't work together. This is an example of how we came together as community to work together. So I want to thank everyone for helping to make this happen. And I want to say one thing about the Recovery Act. You know, it is much maligned now uh, by people who say it didn't work. It did work, folks. We had people who were unemployed. We had uh, things that needed to happen to make America more energy uh, secure. We took advantage of that collectively as Americans investing in putting people back to work, investing in Americans who create these, these fabulous solar panels, who install the solar panels, and we're going to get a return on our investment here in Ramsey County. Every time someone turns on the hot water, we're going to save money for taxpayers. So this is a win-win, and I'm so excited uh, to go up on the roof with the sun shining, with it being a little warmer, um, <laughs> to, to really um, make sure that everybody knows we are moving forward in Ramsey County. We're moving forward in St. Paul. We're moving forward in America, putting America back to work and reducing our consumption of energy, and at the same time, making the air a little fresher to breathe. So thank you. <laughs> Well, to the extent that I, I am a leader on that, and I, I thank you for those words, it's because there are people that are there willing to do the work and uh, to actually get things done. And so it's Ann Hunt, uh, my environmental policy director, who's taking pictures. She's now my photographer. <laughs> She's got a new job. Uh, but it's obviously your leadership, Victoria, and uh, Congresswoman McCollum, who picked right up where uh, former Congressman Bento uh, left off in terms of his commitment to the environment. Um, and so I couldn't be more happy to be a part of a team uh, that is doing some really amazing things, including this installation. So the good news is that uh, our inmates are going to be able to, to uh, bathe with 40% uh, solar heated uh, water. 
the bad news is we did, there were three escapes during the construction of this, uh, <laughs> this thing, but we're confident we're going to find them eventually um, because they'll be the dirty ones. They won't have washed with clean, clean water, um, and, and, and those things are important. Um, you know, there are uh, a lot of people have been thanked already for, for the work that's been uh, done. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the Recovery Act, uh, I think Congresswoman McCollum, you said it exactly right, which is you can, you can mock it, uh, you, can mis uh, you can distort it, you can lie about it, but the fact of the matter is we are moving towards that greener, uh, greener cleaner energy future. People are going back to work. Uh, companies like Solar Skies, uh, Randy Hagen is here with the brains of the operation, a sister uh, from, from Alexandria. Uh, but the fact of the matter is the opportunities are being opened up for workers in the state of Minnesota. Uh, for workers across the country to be able to not only build the, uh, the solar panels, but to install them, to operate them. Those are important jobs. And let's remember, there are three things in my mind kind of why we're doing all of these. First of all, obviously, operational efficiency. Uh, it saves money. It's good from an economic standpoint. It's good from a taxpayer standpoint. If we can have long-term costs reduced when we, uh, we're not spending as much money on energy to heat our buildings, to light our buildings, uh, that's just smart, and that's a good way to go. It's about creating jobs. Uh, that is critically important. And we can, uh, you know, you can cite the number of jobs that are, that are being created across the country, uh, the number of jobs that, uh, that Solar Skies uh, is, are creating because of the work that's opening up. Uh, he has promised, Randy's promised me one of his uh, biggest uh, destinations now is Hawaii. Um, and so he's promised a, a delegation uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, to, to explore. Um, and uh, I, for one, uh, will be willing to sacrifice and lead that delegation o over to Hawaii. Um, but l let's also not forget the devastation in the environment that we're seeing because of our, our refusal to act on climate change. July, the hottest month in recorded history. 2012, the worst fire, uh, forest fires in recorded history, the worst fire season that we've ever seen. Uh, we're seeing, I, I flew over from Europe uh, just uh, in, in September, and when you fly over Greenland and you see just firsthand how far that ice sheet has receded, you can't hide from this. People want to kind of ignore it, people want to pretend it's not real, but the fact of the matter is the science is overwhelming, this earth is in crisis, and unless we do something, then we are all, and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren are in serious trouble. Let's not forget that's why we're doing this on top of all the other reasons. The other reasons are great, but let's not forget, unless we take steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to reverse the trends in this environment, uh, this planet is in trouble. And that's just the facts, folks. That's just the facts. Look at the science. And so I am really proud that today we take a major step forward on that, uh, that we do it with great partners. Jim Jebel uh, and Barb Morin from our department uh, have been just fantastic. Uh, Bill Grant uh, from the state has been a, a great partner for all of us. Um, to all of you, I say, today we take a, another step forward in the city of St. Paul. It's important. It's insufficient. We're going to keep on working until we fundamentally make a difference for our families, for our taxpayers, and for the environment. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of Governor Dayton, I wanted to uh, uh, congratulate uh, the Law Enforcement Center, Solar Skies, all those who uh, had an important role in making this project happen. Over to my right um, is a locally uh, uh, produced uh, facility, a solar collector uh, produced by Solar Skies uh, uh, that'll heat and produce enough heat daily to offset load here at the Law Enforcement Center. It's a prime example of the kind of infrastructure that the ERA program was designed to create. And I know when we heard it again last night, there's still a lot of cynicism around about ERA and the projects that uh, it funded. I can tell you because I've seen a number of them here personally in Minnesota, there are hundreds of these kinds of projects around the state, creating jobs, creating clean energy, and uh, helping us move forward. And uh, this is yet another example of the kind of work that we can do together uh, to produce clean energy right here in Minnesota. Uh, I had the chance yesterday to lead a, a group, a uh, hundred of my closest friends from the utility industry, uh, the uh, uh, solar manufacturers, uh, environmental advocates, and others, talking about the role that distributed generation can play here in Minnesota. 
Uh, we were talking primarily about electricity, but solar thermal is clearly a part of that uh, uh, progress as well. And I think we made some real headway yesterday in, in those conversations, and you're going to be seeing some initiatives coming forward from the Dayton administration around this issue, because we think that, it, that the amount of distributed generation like this project that we have online now in Minnesota is appallingly small, and we need to make more progress, uh, and we need to do so rapidly. All the tools are here to make that happen. Uh, these kinds of projects show the way. And so again, I want to congratulate everyone who's been involved with the project and know that the Department of Commerce will continue to be a strong partner with you in these projects as we move forward. Thanks so much. I want to thank you and congratulations to all the project partners uh, who have made uh, just a great project successful. The Law Enforcement Center's integration of solar thermal will be added to the growing list of impressive projects throughout St. Paul. Without a doubt, this is a community on the move. Today we are touting more solar in this community, more efficiency projects, more technology integration, more community and business engagement than ever before. Each project building on the success of the last. And so last year we celebrated another solar thermal project in St. Paul over at the Renner Center. Today we celebrate another great solar thermal project here at the Law Enforcement Center. And it's exciting to see what's happening in St. Paul. We should be very excited about that. It's no surprise that behind all of these successes have been public-private partnerships. As a private nonprofit utility, we have always relied on our partners, with our customers, with our stewards in the public and private sectors, and they have worked alongside District Energy as we continue to advance a community energy system that is really a model for the nation that continues to draw visitors from around the world every year, and cities want to emulate what's happening here in St. Paul. And today we celebrate the partners that have worked on this project advancement, for taking a lead in continuing the transformation of the solar thermal market in Minnesota, for creating a visible landmark showing Minnesota made innovation, congratulations Randy, for proving their commitment to a sustainable future, and for showcasing the success that is achieved through partnership. And that's, that's just a great word for today. As the local homegrown utility serving St. Paul, we are thrilled to see new technologies integrated into our system. We want to see the community energy system in St. Paul continue to advance and to continue to have new technologies to lead the way for others. We are already proud to serve the LEC with our own flexible fuel system, with biomass and with solar thermal. And now we're uh, seeing a little bit less hot water coming to this building, but that is actually, we're very proud of that. And we're glad to see that happen, especially um, since some of this energy may actually find its way to other parts of the city. And isn't that, that is, that's exciting. So thanks again to the project partners. Congratulations to Ramsey County, to Sheriff uh, Bostrom, and to the Law Enforcement Center.